Jonathan, I don't get why we need a backup tool for Intune. I mean, it's Microsoft, right? Microsoft don't lose stuff. Jason, Intune holds a lot of information. Configuration profiles, compliance policies, app protection, app configs, enrollment restrictions. If something gets wiped or corrupted, good luck trying to rebuild that from your memory. Wait a minute. You mean if I accidentally delete a compliance policy, it's just gone? Exactly. That's why Uga Koch has built Tenuvault. It backs everything up as JSON files. Not JSON files. I mean JSON files. It means you can restore configs instead of starting from scratch. Okay, that makes sense. But this Tenuvault, it said it was free. But Microsoft have just billed me five cents. Five! Am I being scammed? Jason, no one's scamming you. Tenuvault is free, but you have to spend a couple of cents on Azure storage and automation. That's all. Everything else from Tenuvault costs you nothing. A couple of cents? That might not be a lot for you, Jonathan, but that's half a packet of biscuits from my budget. So... Here's the thing, Intune is the backbone of modern device management. It holds everything. You've got compliance policies, configuration profiles, app protection policies, app configuration policies, enrollment restrictions, and more. But here's the problem. Microsoft doesn't give you an easy way to back any of this up. So, if a policy gets deleted, corrupted, or maybe just one of your techs badly edits it, within Microsoft, there is no button called Restore. Now, for MSPs who are managing multiple tenants, that risk multiplies. Now, one mistake could mean hours of rebuilding configurations from scratch, or worse still, leaving your customers unprotected. But that is where. Tenuvault comes in. Now, Tenuvault is the latest creation from Microsoft MVP, Uga Koch, who has already given so much to the MSP community with some fantastic free tools. Now, Tenuvault automatically backs up all of your Intune configurations as JSON files. Every compliance rule, every profile, every setting captured in full. And guess what? Tenuvault runs in your own client's Azure subscription, so nothing leaves the tenant. The only cost to Tenuvault is a few cents in Azure storage and automation. So, in real terms, it's basically free. And that is why Tenuvault is such a big deal. And that is why I'm making this video, to spread the word. Tenuvault gives you peace of mind. It gives you the ability to restore configs when you need to. And even drift detection to spot changes between backups. So I'm sure you're excited and you want to see Tenuvault. So let's take a look. The first thing we need to do is onboard our tenant. Okay, there's a couple of options here. At the top, you can see there's a cloud portal or there's PowerShell. Okay, so if you're working with a customer, who doesn't allow third-party applications or community tools within their tenancy, then you can do this with PowerShell. You're not gonna have the same level of experience, but it's an option, okay? I'm gonna click on Cloud Portal here. And then what I want to do, if it's the first tenancy, we want to start the setup wizard, begin setup. Now, the setup wizard is gonna guide us step-by-step -step to onboarding our tenancy. We're going to create the necessary Azure resources, a storage account, automation account, and the permission. Okay, and we can we can follow the least privileged principles. There's a lot of information here, exactly what's going to be going on. It's going to take 10 to 15 minutes. Scroll down, and you can see here look the prerequisites. It's a word I can't say very easily. But what we need is an Azure subscription because this is going to live in your Azure. Global admin rights. Most people use global admin to do this. However, least privilege, if you click on here, 
you can also do this as well, okay, instead of using the global admin account. So that's an option for you. Goes out of there. And then we can click on Get Started. And then we're on to the app registration. So behind the scenes, Tenure Vault is going to connect to our Intune environment using an app registration. It only needs a few specific Microsoft Graph permissions. There's no overprivileged global admin access. Now, once the permissions are validated, we're going to be ready to go. So what I will do now is I will open this page here, which is going to pop out to our Azure. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to split screen this now so it looks better as we go through the setup. Okay, there we go. So why do we need that registration? Our credentials are safe. I've clicked on here. And this is the page where I enter my 365 details. So I will enter the Hawthorne Bell. So this is my test tenancy. And once the app registration page opens, the instructions are very clear here. Look, we need to click on new registration. We put in a name. We'll leave this as it is here. Accounts in the organizational directory only. And we click on register. Simple as that. Let's scroll down. So the next step, we need to enter the enterprise application object ID. And there's a description of why we need to do that. So I will click on here. I will move this over here again so it's easier. Hawthorne Bell. Okay. We know it's the 10 new vault backup. So we click on here. And we want the object ID here. And all we do is simply paste it into that box there. Okay. And we will scroll down again. Now we need to copy the app registration details. Now with this enterprise application object ID here, don't get confused and enter anything from this page. Okay. It's specifically what I've just done, but for this now, we're going to go back to this page here. Okay. Application client ID and it's this one here. So I will copy that into here. Directory tenant ID. You can see it's all nicely labeled in tenure vault. So hopefully you don't make a mistake. Copy those into there like that. And next up, we have to create a client secret. And again, full instructions how to do this. Okay. So this is this tenure vault backup service here. Go to manage, go to certificates and secrets and click on new client secret. Enter a description. We can simply enter the Tenu Vault access there. Expires 730 days. There we go. Click on add. And then we want in this value here. Okay, so copy that. And it says here, look, important. Copy the secret value immediately because it won't be shown again. Okay, that won't be shown again. Okay, scroll down. Okay, now we've got the API permissions. So we simply go to API permissions here. I told you having split screen would really help here. We go to add permission, Microsoft Graph, application permissions, and then we can simply copy these like this. And it's just going to make it a little bit easier. Press and enter, and our permission is there. Okay, I can copy this one. Again, put it in there. It's all very nice and straightforward, isn't it? This good instructions, good documentation. That's what we like. Click on there, add those permissions. There we are. Important now, grant consent. Yes. That is what we have to do on this page. Now, the next thing we need to do is validate these permissions. Okay. So I'm just going to leave it 30 seconds or so and then come back. Okay. Click on validate permissions. Nice. Permissions valid. That means we've done everything so far perfectly. Click on next. Okay, now it's time to deploy our Azure resources. And there's a couple of deployment types we can choose from. We can create brand new resources just for Tenure Vault, or we can use existing ones. The recommended way is to create new ones. So I will do that. I will click on deploy everything. Now, step one in here is copy the template to the clipboard and you'll see why in a moment. Now, here's all the instructions of how to do what we're going to do next. I will just go, go through it and you'll see how simple it is. Click on here, deploy now in Azure portal. That will open the Azure portal and I will drag this over 
to my screen here okay now what we do is we're going to build our own template in the editor so i will highlight all this and if you remember i copied the template here so i will just paste and that will paste into here nice and simple click on save now we choose our azure subscription so there's just one in this tenancy so that's okay and then we need a resource group so again i'm going to click on create new and i will call this tenuvol rg resource group okay click on okay we then choose our region now it's important to know when it comes to tenuvol you can store your data wherever you want the tenuvol company their website is in frankfurt in germany but you can deploy it wherever you want okay it's great for compliance we then need to choose a storage account name so i'll type that in here now okay and then an automation account name okay and click on next that's just run the final validation okay it is happy so let's click on create and those resources will be deployed now that takes a few minutes to do so i will pause the video and come back okay my deployment is now complete so i can click on go to resource group and you can see i've got my bits of information here now it's really important just to keep it at this screen here and you will find out why in a moment so i will just come off this screen here deployment in progress i can now click on i've completed the deployment okay which then brings us to here and we need to enter these bits here and we find them all on this page so we've got a subscription id i can pump that into here the resource group name put that here this is this one at the top the storage account name this one here put that in here also the automation account name which is here okay put that in there and then click on next okay the very last step so what we need to do is give tenuvol the reader role on our azure subscription okay very easy to do so click on this link here that will open up this page our subscriptions i will drag this over to here we go into here we go into access control add role assignment reader click next select members into here we should be able to find tenure volts application there we are click on select review and assign review and assign okay so we are now done click on mark complete click on next okay that's the azure bit done okay you can see here look it says complete and download the login json this is how you log into your tenants with tenure vault so tenure vault doesn't store anything there's nothing in the back end and at the moment there's no multi-tenant okay and i think they are working on that for release later in the year but for now you would log in with the json file so i will download the json file there it is and i would store that somewhere maybe in my it documentation or something like that okay i'm just going to minimize my azure i will make sure this is now full screen so at the moment this is is kept in here but what i will do i will delete the tenant like that okay so if i just opened tenure vault i would usually get this screen here we've done this bit now so every tenant that you do that for you'll have a json file and then how you access it is we are now connecting to an existing tenancy okay we would then add new tenant and you can see import from json okay so choose file there it is add tenant and it will add our tenancy okay so a few things we can do from here we can rename this if we want okay so i could put my name in here like that there's also a tagging function as well so what we can do we can tag our various tenants okay we can create custom tags or we can use these available tags here so that's quite handy to do but what i will do now is i will click on backup now and that will start the backup and so that backup if i just go like that that will appear down here that's going to take a few minutes to run so let me just pause the video and come back 
Okay, that backup is completed. So the next thing to show you is the schedule because you might want to start scheduling your backups. You can see here, look, no schedules are configured. We can click on the drop down here. This is the tenancy we want. So let's create our schedule here. We can give this a name, something like this. This is the run book in Azure, okay, daily, interval every day. We can start that whenever we want. So I'll start that tomorrow. You can give it a time, a time zone. You can even give it a description, okay? I will click on create a schedule. And there's my schedule here. And I can look at that on a calendar if I want. So you can see that's all here. Look at a timeline if I want. Different kind of views. So I've now scheduled my backup. You can see when the next one is going to run. We've also got an audit log here. So anything that happens within our tenant, uh, with Tenure Vault, it will be logged here. Now we've got a backup. If I just go to our dashboard at the top, everything looks good. But what, what I want to show you now is the drift detection and the restoration. And to do that effectively, I'm just going to make a couple of changes in my tenancy. And then I'm going to do another backup. And I can show you how that looks in Tenure Vault. I'll report back in a moment. Okay, so I went into my Intune and I just made some changes. I've deleted some configuration policies and a compliance policy. I then ran another 10 year vault backup. Okay, I manually ran it and I've gone into drift detection and you can see that 10 year vault has picked up exactly what I've done. Okay, this is the drift detection from the last backup. So for example, here, the configuration policy, I can click on view difference and you can see that this policy has been deleted. So this configuration policy is no longer applied to devices. I can simply click on restore devices and it'll tell me exactly what's going to happen. Are you sure you want to restore this policy? And it will put restart at the end of it. Okay. I can click on restore policy and that will restore my policy back to Intune. Okay. I can view it in Intune now. And you can see it's there. Okay, so Tenure Vault has very much done what I wanted it to do. We can also now look at the audit log and see what's happened here. There you go. So we've now got some data in here. We've done drift detections. We've reverted policies. It is all tracked. So there you have it. A tool which is almost free, created by Erga Koch for the community. And it's available for you now to start backing up your Microsoft 365 tenant settings. So that is Tenure Vault. It's a backup solution for Intune that every MSP and every IT department should have in their toolkit. Tenure Vault is lightweight. And as you can see, it's easy to set up and runs entirely in your client's own as your tenant. The best part, the very best part, it costs pennies literally pennies now huge thanks to uga koch for building this and giving it to the msp community this is the kind of project that shows the power of this community solving real problems that microsoft haven't tackled yet i hope you've enjoyed today's video and today's demo i look forward to seeing you again soon